Sunshine, good to see you uh, in the Discord server. B25 ELRS RX almost new. Boxer radio with built-in ELRS. All my telemetry works fine except for battery voltage. Newly charged battery will read 3.5, 3.7 volts per cell in DJI V2 goggles. If I unplug battery from drone and plug back in, it will fix the problem. Um, what you need to do is go into the power and battery tab and confirm, and this, this is probably the case, but we would want to confirm it, that the flight controller is misreading the voltage. At that point, it's, it's hardware damage. The flight controller has a, a voltage divider that basically is your voltage sensor. And if it's damaged and you're reading the wrong voltage, there's basically nothing you can do. There's like no way to set up an alternative sensor. Well, no way. It maybe is a little strong, but basically, basically no way. Um, I've seen cases where that da the voltage divider is damaged, especially if the drone went in the water. It can mess it up. And uh, then it just reads the wrong voltage and there's nothing you can do about it. Um... If you have um, voltage sensing on the ESCs and you have ESC telemetry, you can switch your voltage sensor over to the ESC, but you have to have ESC telemetry for that. And I don't know if you do. B25, it's probably an all-in-one, isn't it? I, I'm, I'm um, question. Yeah. Yeah, Blinty. I would just say, if it is correct in beta, like if your total voltage is correct, but your cell voltage is incorrect, then you need to check your cell range, just like your oh, max that's and min, good. and make sure Betaflight is not misreading the voltage. Because replugging it would change the oh, voltage from Blunty. draw. Well you know? done. That's good, Blunty. That's a good suggestion. Damn. Well done. Continuing to earn his paycheck. Thank you, Blunty. Um, oh, this doesn't have Betaflight on it. Connecting, connecting, hold on. Damn, dude. Come on. Yeah, freaking. So here in the power and battery tab, what you want to do is plug in the battery and you want to see the cell count. Where does it show the cell count? I know it, yeah, it'll show the cell count here where it says connected. So this is just a flight controller. It doesn't have a battery, but... Um, if you have a, a, a high volt battery, or if your battery is slightly overcharged, it will miscalculate the cell count. Because let's say I plug in a battery that's 4.35 volts, okay? Well, I've told Betaflight that the max cell voltage is 4.3 volts. So Betaflight will be like, let's say, let's say I've got, hang on, let me do the numbers here. Let's say I'm at 4.35 times 6. 6S battery, 4.35 volts. I'm at 26.1 volts. Beta flight sees 26 volts, and it goes, divide by 6. Well, that's 4.35 volts. It can't be a 6S, because you told me the maximum was 4.3. So, it takes 26.1, and it goes, divide by 7. Aha! This is a 3.7 volt 7S battery. Got it. Now, if you plug the battery in and replug it a couple times, maybe you do you do it long enough that the voltage comes down, and now it's 4.30 volts, and then it reads correctly as a 6s. That's a really great guess, Blunty. So, what you want to do is plug in and check the connected status, and it will show the cell count and see if that's correct. And if that's wrong, you have two choices. One is... Adjust the maximum cell voltage up a little bit. Change it to 4.4 or something. And the other is you can go in the CLI. And there's an option. Force battery cell count. That's it. Force battery cell count equals 6. And you could just force it to a 6S and it'll, it'll never have that problem again. Yeah, Sunshine, if you're running high volts, change that from 4.3 to like 4.37. Or force battery cell count. This is especially relevant 
when you're using high voltage batteries, not just like 6S high volt, but if you're using like a 12S battery, because that four point, if you think about a one cell battery, 4.2 to 3.0 is the entire voltage range. With a two cell battery, 4.2 to 3.0 is half the voltage range roughly. The higher your cell count, the smaller those distinctions become, and the more likely it is that when you plug in, the little sort of variance in voltage means it'll misread the cell count. When I was running uh, my 12S Beast class, it would not often, but semi-regularly misread the cell count as like 11S or 13S. And so I would manually set the cell count for that one. And I think it's once you get above like 10S, it makes a lot of sense to manually set the cell count. 